Yeah. The guy across the road, Dan Grima. Yeah. He, he was screaming yesterday and he said, use the same tactics every time. And I heard something hit the window. I think he threw his, his controller at the window. Just stop playing FIFA. I don't yeah. really play FIFA. Not too much, though. Josh, it's incoherent mumbling. So yeah. guys, welcome back. Summer's over. Football's over. What are you going to do for two mo- or for a month till the Premier League's back? I don't know. But the good news Pre-season is... Pre-season friendlies. We're here. We're here to cheer you up. So I'm here with my, my boy Kingston. Josh. Sure. I'm Mac. We're back, everyone. Josh, before we get into this, what's been your rose and thorn of the week? Or rose and thorn of the time since we last had a podcast? Alright, with time since. Yeah, oh, uh, go ahead. There's been too much time to think about anything. Um... I think the Thorns not been doing this podcast, Matt. You know? Yeah, it's been a it's been a difficult time for me not not mm. being with you, mm. not in a sexual way. Um, and uh, you know, I enjoyed the last podcast. So I've been looking forward to doing this one. Yeah, so. it's good. What's been your rules then at that time, Josh? Uh, maybe now. Um, I don't know to be honest. Um, England beating Wales. Mm. That that was a time when I felt I felt brilliant, um, and it, it was all it was all over crap. It yeah, it all fell apart. Anything. But at the time, it was brilliant. Yeah, it all fell apart for you there. Didn't yeah, it? yeah, I'd say my rose and thorn is uh, the thorn would be um, oh, what would be my thorn of the last month? Thorn would be um, the fact that a lot of Northern Ireland fans were really vocally against the Republic of Ireland fans, which I think is just a load of balls. It's just a lot of idiots being mm. being silly. Because like, people act like it's a derby. Political game. pointless. People think it's act like it's a derby game, but it's not. Like, no. We don't play it. It's not like they're a team we play every other week. Like, you never, you never play them. We've played them. Oh, my angry. It's the guy on the road. He's he's gets he's, very pissed off. Actually, that's it. My my thorn of my thorn is the uh, angry gamer man across the roads. Not very good at faith of him. He's, he's, he's taking it out. He's taking it out on, on his window. Um, it's but not our ro- fault, is it? The rose. The rose would be, finally, Josh. You, Josh Kingston, admitted that Garth McCauley was alright. He's alright. You, you said he was very good in the groups. You no, did. You did. Right. No, well, okay, well, look, we'll go into it. He's got nine goals. <laughs> I wasn't in the groups, actually. Uh, let's go into it. No, let's go into it. Right. Josh. Mm. Portugal. Tiny Portugal, no Ronaldo. The dead up. What are your thoughts? Trolled. They trolled us all. Um, no, nah, nah, I thought it was good. I thought um, it was typical of the tournament that mm. they won it. Because nobody at the tournament was particularly good. Mm. I think, really. Um, yes, you can say Wales are good. If Wales were getting to a semi final, it's not a great tournament, is it? Let's mm. be honest. Well, um, was it South Korea got to the semi final that one year? Yeah, but they were good. And Turkey got the semi final. Yeah, they, they Hashan Sass. Yeah, I liked him. I liked them. I did the 2002 World Cup, I wasn't very old, so I was less cynical. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Mm. Um, but, no, I thought it was funny Portugal won it. Um, but I think they need to change the rules, possibly. Because mm. to win one game against Wales. That would be the European champion. But no, they defended well. Yeah, it's alright. Hmm. Alright. Right. France, the. Alright. Uh, like, like yeah. well, obviously we should specify. I'm sure people, like the, the 10 people who listen to this, your friends are definitely going to have watched the Euro final. But in the off chance that your mum finds your phone and decides to listen to this, I'll just let her know. Well, she watched it as well. I don't mean you, I just mean anyone's mum who's know. listening. I just mean, like, if your mother happens to be listening to this, hello, Mrs. Charlesworth, whoever this You're is. Right. I hope you're well. Um, Ronaldo actually got injured very early on, and he he didn't play most of the final. So it it was a it was a bit of a shame at the she start. Really it. A lot of people watched. Yeah, it. but it was a bit of a shame, obviously, to have miss out on one of the best players in the world. Um, yeah, yeah. Probably one of the two best players of our generation didn't get to play in a, a yeah. final, but I Who's think the best player ever, in my opinion. But uh, he did um, he did contribute in his own way, Josh. He kind of ran the touchline there for a while. Which was very interesting. Yeah, that, that, if I was the manager, that has annoyed me. Yeah. Um, I think it did annoy the manager. Um, 
Well, but the thing is, is well, the manager bigger than Ronaldo? Well, he no, should but be, but is he? Has the question? Not really, no, but he knows he's on about more than Ronaldo, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Just won a European Championship, so. But as I was saying, yeah, so Portugal did it, and of all the people, Adair, Adair, I went to watch many Swansea games, you know, Josh, yeah. and Adair had 13 games, didn't get a goal for him, and I'll tell you this. There's no man that was closely resembling a bag of sawdust sitting on a football pitch as that balls man. balls have been on. Tennis balls. Nah. Angry gamer man. There is upset that we're abusing a dare. Big Swansea fan. Angry gamer man. Yeah, ball sacks. That's what he reminds me of. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I'm, nah, that's a bit harsh. But you mean like a sack he, of footballs? He, he not not, a, not a screw to Right. Come on. Yeah. Like that man. As we said earlier, this is like the footballing equivalent of uh, of Nicholas Mahout when in Wimbledon. Well, we said it took the first time we recorded this. Well, I thought we were recording it, but Mac decided not to record it. I, I said uh, he, was, uh, he couldn't get in the side ahead of Bath Tenby Gomez. He was as he had a dry spell. It was as dry as the Sahara Desert. Was it said. as dry as you after a week of not showering? Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, I thought I thought Bafetemi Gomez was 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 terrible, right? And as a um, result, that means Adair is worse. Adair couldn't get in ahead of him. But Josh, how do Barrow got in the side? Josh, what a strike though! It wasn't a good strike. <laughs> when what, when I watched what a hit. back on the highlights, he's he's falling. He's actually fa- he's just hit it as hard as he can. It's like when I have a, when I try and hit it hard, I normally end up falling forward, trying to push too much into it, and that's what he's doing. Do you think happens? Josh? He does that another 10, 15, 20 times. He doesn't go in. Do you think happens, Josh? He he was standing up front there, right, and the ball rolled in front of him, and he thought, "That's travel there of its natural accord. <laughs> that means I have to strike this." Yeah. And he struck it, and do you know what? Sometimes you need to hit it well. You just need to hit it in the back of the net. And that's what he did. He did. That's why he did. And he's won a European Championship. A man who, a man who replaced that. And again, he he is shite. Yeah, like oh, do you remember Swansea had that Israel striker on loan from Espanyol. Like, and I mean, he was. Oh, a, yeah. Do you know who I mean? Oh, like I he exactly he was either. atrocious and like he was, awful, he was so bad they like replaced. Well, the Italian uh, fellow as well this season. This season. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. The point being, like, I can't they signed a the dare to replace him, and then they were like. Well, this is much worse. Kaloski. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, but they're like, yeah. this guy is much worse and they shipped him out as well. <laughs> like, He's it, a bad player there. Yeah. He, uh, the thing is, Josh, he's a European football champion. And that white glove, eh? I was thinking, do you think maybe Adair, like, maybe he gains his power from insects? I don't know what you're getting out of him, man. Because you know how like, the stadium was full of moths? Yeah. Maybe having the moths around, he inspired him. Um, maybe he summoned them himself. Maybe he sold his soul to the you're devil. You're getting a bit weird, man. You're getting a bit weird, mate. Maybe he stole the soul to the nah, devil, and they weird. said, they said, nah. all right, well, you can have it, but my minions will nah, be there. Nah, nah, nah. And then he scored the one. Nah, what I think happened was uh, he picked the ball up and hit it. He didn't pick it up. Once again. Well, he picked the ball it travelled of its natural it, record. He took it to his right. He took it a couple of steps to his right. Yeah. And then he scuffed it in the corner. Yeah. That's what happened. Anyway, we'll continue on now. Well done to Portugal. Congrats to the... Yeah, well to the those We're all very pleased for you. As the football ramble called them, the Spanish wheels. Um, yeah, but France, Josh, they're going to be upset. Bottled it. Absolutely. The greasy, greasy man greasy man had that one header. It was very good, Will, and that he was, he was fairly quick. Cool. he's nearly as bad as a dare. Giniac looks identical to he Martin Patterson. He nearly won it, though, didn't he? North Ireland legend Martin Patterson, identical. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if Genia. Both not very good. Imagine if they went to penalties and Genia and Adair had got the, the goals. That would be even it, more it, incredible. It's just. Yeah, I can't really comprehend. But anyway, Josh, we did uh, some predictions beforehand. So let's run through the groups quick. Group A, the French. French walked it. Switzerland came second. Albania came third. And Romania. Lowly Romania only got a point. Do you know the problem with Romania was? Didn't play Castel Pantino. I didn't get that. They got a Premier League keeper. Yeah. Didn't give him a run out. No. Or a walk out. No. Didn't even get him a stand on the box out. Ridiculous. Anyway, 
as we were saying before, Josh, Albania and Switzerland played each other and they made the whole big deal about this first time two brothers have played against each other in European Championships. And you know what? It was as boring as you after not showering for a week. What is it with this? Yeah, you know, my hygiene's okay. I don't all think right. I it's don't not think... great. It's not great, <laughs> but it's all right. I'm not saying you wouldn't shower for a week. I'm just saying that you'd, well, you'd, you'd be Well, it's very twice dry. it's come out there now, and you know what? You know what? I don't smell. I'm going to come out there and say it. I present it, ladies. Listen. I smell mediocre. I present it, ladies. Listen. Right? Josh smells pretty all right. <laughs> mediocre. No. Average. <laughs> yeah, not a Lynx advert, <laughs> but not, you know. Maybe a right guard. Yeah. Maybe right. I think we've pissed him off. But it's, you know, <laughs> I smell average. Yeah. I'm a, fi- I'm a solid five out of ten. I, I wouldn't say you're a man who smells. Thank you. I wouldn't go up to someone. I've got some uh, aftershave. If someone know, said, um, oh, who's that, that, who's, who's that B.O.? I'd bl- I wouldn't blag, it's probably Josh. If yeah. anything, I'd, I'd awesome. maybe... I'd probably put myself forward before I put yeah, you, Josh. Well, natural... Anyway, we'll, we'll forget. We'll forget the same. But... The game was boring. Albania and Switzerland. Yeah, I enjoyed the build-up. Yeah. I like hearing Robbie Savage talk nonsense, but only whenever it's like... It's evident he's talking nonsense. I hate whenever you have to listen to him in a serious uh, capacity. Yeah, that one's freaking me. That's where he came off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, France walked through. Switzerland got through. But Switzerland weren't great. They were possibly the most, one of the most boring teams at the time. Mm. And that's Stefanovic. He's awful. He's shy. Mbolo, though. I thought Mbolo was decent. Compared, he, compared to he st- never started in Bow Road. He played. He started one of the games. I think it was the third group game. He definitely yeah. did. Yeah, but he was. Yeah. He was not. So just he's your best player. I know he's young, but he's pretty much your best player. Apart yeah. From Shakiri. Yeah. And Shakiri's not. He's, Although he's that bicycle hot. kick from Shakiri in the and knock that was, was very hot. That not oh. in a sexual way. Oh, I was thinking. Well, maybe in a sexual way. It the pe- was that good. Yeah, that was a, uh, not a. None of the like, um, oh, maybe I'll date Shakiri now, can I just know that no. goal was incredible. Oh. <laughs> All right, Josh, we'll do this quick. We'll get through it quick, and then you can talk about England later, but we'll have to mention it. No. Wales topped Group B. England didn't top Group B. Slovakia You're a came- 96. All right, we cool. Won it. Just do it. All right, on. we should have won it. Down at the turn, bury that. Right, it's the post. All right. Gascoigne. Yep. Get better moulds on the on your boots, fair studs. Yeah. Very down. Euro nine six, curse is lifted. Right? Euro two thousand. I've done this already once today. Euro two thousand. Dennis Wise started in midfield. Dennis Wise. Leeds manager managerial legend. Right. That's wise. We had Nicky Butt, we had Paul Scholes over on the treble. Put them in midfield. Beckham on the right. Steve Mack on the left, just won the Champions League. At the back. Got the Arsenal defence. Adams, Keown, Seaman. Gaz Neville right back. Andy Cole didn't get in the squad. Won a treble. And he was pretty decent, right? Have you cut this? Is this recording? No, no, no. I'm not doing this. No, it's recording here. Sheringham. Shearer. I'm nearly as annoyed as that guy. <laughs> as angry he, he, he's, he's He's almost like a third member. <laughs> Just to explain this, there's a guy across the road yeah, from us. the pressure off yeah. him. There's a guy across the road from us who's playing FIFA, and I mean, he is screaming. He's a lunatic. Like, we've been here three days, and every day we've been here, we have walked outside and heard him cursing and screaming at the TV. Like, he is a... Cre- he's more passionate... I don't actually live with him in the first year, but I'm yeah. not sure. He's more passionate about FIFA than Josh is about England 2,000 euros. Yeah. And we should have won that. We should have yeah. won that. So well, what do you think? On a group stage, Romain. Yeah. See, the problem is, Josh, with England... Like, we said this before. I said to you the other day, I think Sam Allardyce should be the new manager. And you said Pellegrini. But then you did come around to Sam Allardyce at one point. Yeah. You did. But I think... I've my, changed my mind. Oh, well, let me finish my point then. We're going to ask you what you think, right? Oh. I think Sam Allardyce, he's not going to win you anything. But he'll get you further. Like, he'll set you up not to lose. You know I mean? And the thing is, he, Sam Allardyce is the kind of player who doesn't care, like who you are like he's going to pick a team that will work for him and you might not play attractive football you might even play good football but I would say you'll at least get past the quarter final and get that kind of mentality back and the thing is he will not care about penalties whereas every other England manager has been terrified of it some other guys will be like it's penalties just do it like he's a hard enough man that he'll just get through everyone and I remember when a ball hit him in the face didn't even flinch yeah he hates pain (laughs) 
He hate, he hates the idea of it. Yeah. He's just like, what is pain? I welcome it. <laughs> but you know he hates what? it. You come to, you, you talk around. Yeah. Well, who who were you thinking of? Do you want Pellegrini? I wanted Pellegrini, um, but to be honest, I want Aldo to give you something different. Um, yeah, the thing is, like, you. Pellegrini, I just thought he won the league and he passed it, he never ever passed it around. Yeah. You won't, you got, you got Sven there whenever he, he, he took over. Right. Sven was alright, but he didn't have a plan B, which was kind of an England problem. Like, that is kind of an England problem. It was like. Now we have a plan A. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, Sven's kind of was like, European manager, get him in. No, was he the first non English manager? He was. Yeah. yeah. Brought him in. It was like, we'll play this European style of football. Like, it worked to a degree, but once the team figured you out, you knew there wasn't a plan B. Then you get rid of him, and we don't need to talk about McLaren. He was a disaster. Then. Yeah. Fabio Capello came in. Similar thing. Capello, good manager, wins things. But European style of football. Oh, there was no style, right? No, but what I'm saying is... Just... No, but what I'm saying is you brought in a manager whose who's whole concept of football was European. It wasn't yeah. like... Like, uh, you need to have a kind of identity for your team, if that makes uh, sense. Like, it, Italy are just always known as... Italy are the defensive team they do it well. He didn't, Spain even, do it, he didn't even do it in Italy, though. No, but I'm saying, like, every nationality has their their identity. Like, Spain are the passing team. Italy are the defensive team. Belgium with this team that are literally just like throw Belgium all the best really. yeah, throw all yeah, the best yeah throw all the best players on which isn't like one thing Germany are like the we'll attack we'll attack Germany you first win. yeah Ger- that's yeah. It. But time. what I'm saying is though like they do this every team has their identity whereas Capello is like oh we'll just kind of do a bit of everything and like nothing really works for them so, but again you're having a similar manager to Sven then they're like oh we'll appease everyone we'll get an English manager yeah. but Roy Hodgson you know but Roy you know Hodgson is, he, is right. a European manager this conversation wouldn't be happening if we won Euro 96 <laughs> <laughs> but the point being Josh the point being Roy Hodgson comes in they appease everyone like we'll get an English manager but you know the d- deal with Roy Hodgson is he's shy well yeah but he's also just Defensive. he's a European manager because he he like managed he, in, he managed Finland didn't he in Finland didn't he manage so it's, he didn't appreciate sure Finland, Finland as well. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, yeah, but what I'm saying is, he manages those teams. Like as in, he managed in Europe like more. I know he managed like Blackburn and likes that, but I mean, he's more of a, he's more of a European manager. You go into a Premier League team and you manage the style he did, like for Finland and Switzerland, you can do it because you have players from other countries. But like he tried to do the same thing and it didn't work. And then this whole thing of like, well, you have to play Rooney, you have to play. Came it. It's like you play that you yeah. set the team up to win, not who the best players are. And you know Josh I'm a Man City fan, but I'm not this guy's biggest fan. But his insistence on playing Raheem Sterling every game. Um, I'd have picked him first game. Yeah, but like after that, after that, yeah, he brings something different in the pace. But once you see how poor his delivery is I'd in the first game, something different. If I was playing, so it wouldn't have been good. Yeah. We'll just let that... Can you hear that? I don't know. I I'll, do, I'll, I'll tell you what he's basically saying. It's a load of shite. I can't win at FIFA. Yeah. Something along those lines. But yeah, like, I think Big Sam's the way forward to summarise this. Just for the time being. I think he'll change the mentality of it. And then you get someone in once the, the actual English football mentality's changed. Get someone in who can actually then bring you on to better things. Because England do produce good players. They do. Maybe not like... They don't maybe like polish them off as well as like players in Spain so and stuff could polish off. The thing that um, would worry me about Sam Allardyce is he would try to play Eunice Kabul somehow. Well, <laughs> that's one of the things. Not the first thing I think of. First thing was he's in charge of the development of the English game. Mm. Now I do not want another ten years. Uh, I yeah, very much died. Very. Uh... This is what I'm saying. That there's like. I th- England obviously produced good players because like Bullshit's a good player Harry Kane's a good player Vardy obviously they're a bloomer but Vardy's a good player Sterling on his day is a good player no on his day like Cahill Cahill Smalling Walker even yeah. all good players but they're not like fine tuned if that makes sense it's like they're even, even at the age of what how old's Cahill 29? 29 yeah like Cahill Seems like he's still a bit raw, and he's nearly at the end of his career. Do you know what I mean? He wouldn't like, be my next squad. No, but what I'm saying is, like, he plays at 29 like the way you'd imagine PK played when he was 21. Yeah. As in, like, he has the ability, but there's just, like, moments of just, like, he's just not, like, completely polished off yeah. finished player. And I think that's the England problem. It's like, 
oh, this 18 year old's very good, let's just stick him in the first team. Yeah. Well, it's like, that doesn't yeah. always work. And yeah, like sometimes people are like, well, he's 22 and he hasn't played in the first team yet. I was like, well, 96. I think Joe. Joe, you know who's a good example? Deli Alley. Yeah. Deli Alley came through the youth, came through um, a lower league team, MK Dons, wasn't it? Yeah. Played young football. Walked here at Tottenham. Came to Swift, but he didn't even play the first couple of games he at the Spurs. He's not great at Swift because he's not the finished No, but what I'm saying is, yeah. he he didn't come, he didn't this go. He's getting me down, man. This Sorry. Getting me down. Do you know what? We'll just forget. Deli Alley was is all right. Is what I'm saying. That's just leaving and getting me down. Group C, Josh. Do you recall the way we organised Group C? Do you recall your predictions? Nah. You said Germany top. He said Ukraine second, he said Poland third, and he said Northern Ireland last. And do you want me to tell you how I organised it just? I said Germany, I said Poland, I said Northern Ireland, I said Ukraine. And I said Northern Ireland would go through his third place, and Josh, let you me tell you. also said that you get a draw against Germany. And I said it would beat Germany. The point oh. being, <laughs> the point being, Josh, we did it. The point being, that Yarmolenko didn't turn up. Zinchenko though signed for City and he was shy the guy signed for Man City Zinchenko he was probably one of the really good players not all the time honestly mate he wasn't great I'm pretty sure every other person in the world said he was the Ukraine's only good player well anyway I thought Conor Bianca was better than the Germans Josh like obviously they obviously got knocked out unfortunately by the French but like there's something different when they're on form like like, as in, like, there's something like they're a different planet from England. Like, yeah, they're pretty boring teams to watch, eh? They have moments. I mean, like, they didn't have, well, I think they're very unlucky, Tom. They had a lot of injuries. I think before Tom Royce was injured, mm. Gomez got injured, and that, I think they might have won it if Gomez had stayed fit. Because without a focal point, it's just mm. watching them pass it around. Yeah. Muller had a stinker. Um, well, he got an assist, but. Yeah. Like playing goats up, standard. goats up front in the first game of Ukraine. He he can't play up front at all. Like, he's, like, um, he's all right. He goes up front. All our England focused on this. Played Poland first game in Northern Ireland, and Mike. I love Michael O'Neill, but I really think he he jumped the gun there. He went far too defensive. Like yeah, our midfield had no boring. our midfield had no formation. Like Paddy McNair at one point was playing number ten. Like he's playing yeah, right up sure. front. Like it was so bad. And like we kept them to one 0 McGovern played well. The defenders did play well, but like no one got anything. Like Davis was literally chasing shadows all day, and like Davis like didn't lose the ball. But like who's he gonna pass to if there's no one up there? It reminded me of a so team pro- playing eleven aside for the first time, or five aside for the first time against a team that been playing for about five years. I'm just gonna just gonna me. just gonna tell you now, just before we go into this, before you say anything too mean about Northern Ireland, I have a lot of England things saved up, so we'll just All right. okay. We bet in Northern Ireland. Well, you okay. didn't get any further than um, well, and you had a weaker group. Um, we actually we actually turned up and contributed to the majority of our games. You, you mm, sat well, but, but anyway, just oh, as yeah, good as us. Probably be some Northern Irish people listening to us. Yeah, just as good as us. Anyway, yeah. uh, second game <laughs> played Ukraine. They didn't get a sniff like they had one shot. Well, I'm sorry, they had one shot before. That was a good performance. They one shot. The one shot before we scored. After, immediately after we scored, they got a free kick, and they had they lumped it in the box. Ian Dyer. <laughs> oh, Ian. Ian Dyer is coming for Yes. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. Yeah. It's caught the first time He's like, come on, the green and white. <laughs> Lumped the free kick in. And what we were saying yesterday. What? Get him on with that slash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, w- that would be the, get them on. the greatest commentary duo of all time. Ian Dye and the Icelandic commentary are like. Hurrah! 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 There'd be no, there'd be no none. There'd be no information about the game. It would nah. just be the two of them screaming. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, this is boring. What's going on here? At the stars is running. Oh! I don't, I scored. <laughs> um, but yeah, they lumped, they lumped a free kick in and they had it and McGovern saved it from a yard out and I couldn't get it. I was so happy. And then a couple of minutes later, uh, Zinchenko actually picked the ball and absolutely belted one and McGovern made another decent save but I really thought it was good and I was like, oh, maybe McGovern is better than I thought he was and this was obviously before the Germany game where he proved that he could pull up. Unbelievable. But then Josh, right, 
You're a man named after you, I'm pretty sure. Josh McGuinness <laughs> got the ball on the right. And I said, I was screaming. Oh, yeah, this is the last no, time no. anyone should ever hear this stat. No. This fact. He used to be a goalkeeper. That's what I was going to say. So annoying. I just not going to say. Yeah. I, I was screaming at him. Take it to the corner. Take it to the corner. And he beat his man. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was screaming at the TV. And he put this cross in. McGinn stepped over it. And Dallas struck it. And Nell McGinn tapped it in. And I... I nearly tore the roof off my house. I think I'm pretty sure I smashed a glass in Darling News House, threw it against okay. them. I was ecstatic. The rest of the day, I couldn't, it wouldn't matter what happened. He could have told me my dog would die, my dog was dead, and I'd be like, well, she had a good run. <laughs> 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 but anyway, yeah. Played Germany. Eight saves from McGovern. That guy was a poor one. Eight saves from McGovern. Yeah. I'll have to point out as well. The second game after we'd played Poland. Michael O'Neill made nearly full sale changes. Like changed like was it like five or six of the team? Yeah. Went four three three. I really thought he I really thought he made a mistake. Not that I thought we should have said five four one, but I thought he made a mistake. But they did really well. And having yeah. Connor Washington up front well, chased when everything down. Against, no when they're playing against Ukraine, we'll get off normal answer. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm very bored with it Yeah. But um I thought they looked like a proper team against Ukraine. Yeah. And I enjoyed that game. Stuart Dallas did, had a good tournament. He's a he's a good workhorse. Leeds. Yeah, but he's the Leeds player of the year. This is coming from Hull. Leeds, right? right, Josh, Group D. The Croats. The Dark Horses themselves. No, the that the Croats were people who wanted to sound like they knew what they were about, such as himself, but I didn't back then. He just went, you know what? I think that'll be it. Croatia topped the group with Spain on it. Yeah. Turkey and then Czech Republic might have been one of the most disappointing teams of the tournament. Yeah, watch any of their games. They, they were not good. That game that they drew two two with Croatia, <laughs> it was a, it was a that was the, I think it was a partly due to the interference of all that the Croatian yeah, yeah. that, that was one of the uh, worst parts of time. Yeah, that was a low light thing. But I mean, Croatia, Croatia, the top of the group, and they played some nice stuff. Against um, Spain, that was quality. Yeah. Parents whenever they uh, they beat, was it Turkey they beat? Whenever um, Modric scored the yeah. first time volley. And Glenn Hoddle tried to take it away from him. Did you hear him? Yeah, Glenn, yeah that, that annoyed me. Glenn Hoddle was like, well, like, if the defender had been looking, he would have, and I was like, he volleyed it first time they hit the box. And I was like, yeah, but, you know, things have got, like, the you keeper, can't. The keeper could have made The keeper, yeah, yeah. keeper was a yard off his line. So I'm like, first time, Glenn. I think it's, of the box. Slavon Bilic be going to. Slavon Bilic, I think, was the yeah, best pundit, of, one of the best pundits of the tournament. Mental. Not the best commentator, because as we've said it, Ian Dye was the best Ian commentator. Ryan. Ian Wright. always makes me feel better after being in the game. Ian Wright's glasses were the highlight of the tournament for yeah. me. Um, yeah. Roy Keane always looks annoyed. Just to quickly jump back, something very important, I forgot about Germany. Yugi Love does, has a very, um, very, dark, dark. It, very dark, he's a very sweaty man, it would appear. <laughs> That man had more... Do not shake his hands. That man had more hands in his pants than... Well, I don't want to make a metaphor because it could offend him. <laughs> but he had a lot of hands in his pants, that's the yeah. point. I could... made a chant up for him. What was it? Is having any swear words You're looking low, he sniffs his own shite. <laughs> okay. He sniffs his own shite. I think I can see where this is going. Well, it's getting a bit off. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll... we'll sorry yeah. about that, guys. But, so, Spain... We got through Croatia there. Croatia obviously unfortunately knocked out by Portugal in extra time, wasn't it? Yeah. Charisma? Ricky? Ricky? I wasn't really listening then, what? But Ricky Q knocked Croatia out, didn't he? Charisma yeah, scored. Yeah, Charisma, yeah. Charisma's a weird player, isn't he? Does he have a big father on the side of his head? He can't cross, can he? I mean, he can, but... Not well. In the games. Yeah. He could be cross at all. No. It was really annoying. But yeah, Croatia obviously unfortunately knocked out by Portugal. But yeah, the Spaniards, El Español, uh, they, 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 they were decent. Like they got put out by an unfortunate. They got put out by a good Italy team, but like um, I thought Spain were alright. Tournament. Yeah, they were. But well, one game when Morata was firing, I can't remember which Czech was that. Not Czech Republic, the other one. Uh, much, I think it was Turkey. Well, yeah, he, he scored twice, and then Nelido really scored. Impressive that game. Nelido scored the other one, I think. Yeah, Nelido looked he, decent at the time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for, he's a bit of a late bloomer as well. Like he's not as many goals, but he's kind of like... the uh, Barcelona system. Yeah. I believe he played his first game for Spain two years ago or something. Yeah. He's 29. It's good on him. Well done, Nalito. Big fan. Um, Turkey. 
Not great. They were they were bad. No. It's funny, whenever Turkey were playing the Czech Republic in the last game, um, Northern Ireland needed Turkey to win, but not to win by more than four goals. If Northern Ireland won, or Turkey won by four goals, they go above Northern Ireland. So we needed them to win by three or less. And I was watching the game, Turkey won all up, and I was like, yes! Oh, yes! Then they went two all up, and I was like, that, that's, that's enough. <laughs> I was like, no more now. You see, calm down. <laughs> but like, it's a very strange moment of like really wanting a team to win, but then not wanting them to win. <laughs> I was like, that's plenty now. You just calm yourself. Um... Czech Republic, as we say, stank it out. Like Thomas Nessid, president from Czech Republic, has more goals as a substitute than he does as a starter. Which you'd assume he's an impact sub. Like you'd think he'd be a fast winger. He's like their equivalent of of Andy Carroll. Peter Crouch. But it's not even. He's a big lump of a thing. Like Peter Crouch is a tall lad. Peter Crouch can throw. Peter Crouch can throw a few skills out. Who feeds for a big man? Yeah, who doesn't? Have, which big man doesn't have good? This is the thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, but yeah, Czech Republic stank it out. Like Group E. The Italians, the Belgians, the Irish, and the Swiss. Now, Josh, just very quickly, you did say that you think Zlatan will carry them through. And I think, to be fair, I think I might have put. I think I may have given uh, Sweden the third place, but I'm just saying, Sweden. I would go as far as say Sweden were the worst team in the tournament. You can't get them all right, can you? No, you That's, can't. Uh, but we'll have to say Sweden were like Abraham which didn't touch the ball. I don't know. Albania scored. <laughs> Albania scored. No. Their own. Do you know who Sweden's top goal scorer was? Kieran Clark. Kieran Clark with one. Do you know who Sweden's second top goal scorer was? Didn't have one. It was only Kieran Clark. Only goal was scored. Yeah. Stinking Nick. Yeah. The abs- Like I really, I really like a lot of Swedish players. Yeah, remember like, he played all right. Though. Oh yeah, but like, it just wasn't. Yeah. I like it was just everyone else. I really and like. Sent back did all right. Um, Olaf Melberg. No, the guy used to be at Wigan. Oh yes, yes. Um, I don't, I don't really care about him. But I don't know who you know. See, like I like Gudetti. I like Seb Larson. I like, um, I like Abramovich to a degree. And uh, Kim Kallstrom used to be a football manager legend. Was always a bit of a fan, but like they just weren't good. Like they just don't seem like they were creating as much as they used to. Like where's Youngberg? Where's Olaf Melberg? And yeah. Isaacson was in goal, and he's Svensson. Isaacson was not great. Like, no. do you know I saw the Svensson brothers a couple yeah, years ago? Edmund back in. Do you know I saw the Svensson brothers a couple years ago? Did you? Yeah, they were playing for Elfsburg in the Europa League. They played or the UEFA Cup as it was at the time. They played Linfield, and they drew nil nil with Linfield at Windsor Park. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was, it was, it was a good game. Anders Anders was playing. I don't think the other one was playing. Um, Ireland, Josh, Ireland. The beat the beat the tally. I don't think there was a dry eye in the house, was there? I think even Roy, when even Roy Keane was crying, well yeah. up, you know it's a special game. And um, Robbie Brady, yeah, he, when he was at Hull, you were under we, we, we always said, um, he he believes that he can produce something, but he can't do it. Yeah. Now he's got better at football because he's older. Yeah. He did produce it, and that was nice to see. You know who have you those, those real moments in football that warm your heart? Yeah. Well, as Josh, as you know, I'm sure some people listen know my, my dad used to be a football scout. And he tried to bring Robbie Brady to Man City as, a, as whenever he was much younger. Yeah, back before shame, before Man City you had a lot of money. Like, um, and uh, my mum spent a lot of time with Robbie Brady's family. Mum wouldn't be a big fan of football. But um, I was watching the Republic of Ireland game in my living room mum. And I went absolutely bad to one score, and I started cheering and celebrating. And my mum came in because she thought something happened. She didn't. She couldn't unhear me celebrating. She just heard me scream. She came in and she looked around at the TV, and she realised it was Robbie Brady had scored. And she started to cry. And she was like, oh, "Robbie!" And I was like, "Oh, my heart!" <laughs> so full. Yeah. And seeing like he was in tears, like like he he, he, could, he was yeah. And it was it was a wonderful moment to see. Like yeah. things got like really. You see, things got. Like he cares so much about the public around. And the thing is. When England got knocked out by Iceland, did any of them cry? Did you saw at least? Oh cry. No. <laughs> no. And I don't want to keep going. When back. the Iceland came yeah. on afterwards, yeah. scheduling. Come on. I don't want to. I don't want to go back to. I don't want to go back to England. The whole through, but I'm just no, saying. Don't, like, don't like, mention no. it because I will go. Yeah. But you know what I mean. Or... You mean you, mean, you think, see things like that where it's like small nations like like. And I don't think it's England. I don't think it's England's team fault. But I think it's let's the, not. Let's not. All right. Let's move just first, Greg. I think the, it's the Premier League's fault. 
Like the Premier League have give everyone this sense fish, of a fish. title. We need a fish. Yeah. Need right. right. Boom. Ireland. They did well. They did all right. And then they played France and after two minutes what was Pogba doing? Did Pogba just I'll not see what, Shane Long? They played France and I thought nothing ever happens early on in the game. Yeah. So I'm off to get something to eat. Came back. It was 1-0. Yeah. Did you see the penalty? Which? I like, can't remember. So Ireland against France they got a penalty in the second minute. But no. uh, right, so crossing the box gets flicked on by whoever the first Ireland striker is, falls to Shane Long. Shane Long's at a terrible angle. Like he's not if he scores from where he is, it has to be a wonder goal, do you mean? And his back's kind of to the goal. Pogba's just like, that's my ball, and just sprints through him. Like does not even tackle him. I mean literally just runs through the back of him. Yeah. And Shane Long's like, I didn't give him a penalty, and Pogba can't understand why it's been given, and the referee was like you literally used him as a road. <laughs> like you used him like a garden fence. <laughs> and Pogba just can't get over it. And then they're like, who's going to hit a penalty? Because John Walters isn't here. And they turn around. And there's Robbie. And he's like, lads. Lads. I've got this. <laughs> and okay. But I, then I did, what I do remember, Antoine Griezmann. Oh. Absolutely battered them. Oh, he's so good. He's such a good player. Battered them. Yeah. But like, Bad defending as well. But battered them. That, uh, do you know the thing is, a lot of people like... I'm not his biggest fan. People give Giroud a lot of abuse. Um, throughout part, oh, yeah, part, partly rightfully so. Like some, some of the abuse is warranted, but like he plays that role with Griezmann very well. Because yeah. like as much as you like, you can't just be like, oh, you just need a big man to knock it down. But he literally did that so well. Like good, big feet, good feet for a big man. Good head for a big man. Yeah. Good footballer for a big man. For a big man. <laughs> yeah, to lump the ball in the box, Giroud, unplayable in the air at times. Knocked it down. Griezmann takes a touch, smashes it. Wonderful goal. Great goal. The Belgians, Josh. I don't. I don't. I don't get them. Like, do you, I get them. I like England. I think having Mark Wilmot is the manager. He doesn't know what he's doing. No, that's do he's a great. He's player. the international. He know what he's doing. He's the international equivalent of Steve Keane. Yeah. <laughs> he's a man who's got the job, and he's like, you know that meme that's like, the dog at the office is like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like that's that's what that's, that's what. Mark Wilmot. Yeah. Sure. Well, we should just make that meme afterwards. Maybe I'll tweet that with the when we post the podcast. But yeah, Belgium, um, Belgium are those teams that like you know how like certain teams like likes of Northern Ireland, the Republic of Iceland and stuff are better than the better than the sum of their parts. Isn't like they play better despite the fact they've weak. But Belgium are like Belgium are literally just all their individual bits put together. The the players they've got, and we're going to like the players they've got. They've got these amazing players. Have they? Yeah, De Bruyne is. Hazard's had a very bad season. But Hazard did pick Lukaku's it up. Lukaku's overrated. He's all right, mm. but he's not. He's not a world class. I think like. Lukaku's very good, but he's not consistent. Fellaini's the problem. Fellaini, Fellaini, didn't Fellaini. Fellaini didn't play. Fellaini didn't play. Not Nine goal. He was all right, but I didn't think he was brilliant. Think got it, a good goal. Wasn't brilliant. If you Ferreira Crasco, not amazing, is he? He's, he's pretty right. good. He's pretty good. He's not amazing. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying, like, there's a lot of you'd be hard pressed to find a lot of teams where every single player is amazing. Like no. even Germany don't have. Like, well, I, don't, I think I think Belgium. Yeah. Have one really good player. That's well, it. I think if everyone was fit, right? You've got Courtois. Oh, a good, oh yeah, yeah, defensively. Yeah, Courtois is a good player. Yeah, he's good. Company Vertonghen and Alderweireld are all very good. Even for even for all right. Yeah. Like, like there's there's four. Like, I know you can't play yeah, all yeah, centre yeah. backs, but I mean like, there's four yeah. decent. Going players. forward though, it's just the Brunner who's actually really good. For me. Axel Witzel. He's shy. Right. Axel Witzel and Dembele Dembele played very well Dembele is good yeah. but again Dembele didn't play a lot much either which was very strange but for me De Bruyne is De Bruyne is as close as they get to world class yeah. ha- Hazard we all know about Hazard but this season yeah although yeah. Hazard did pick it up towards the end he of the did game. but yeah. as did Lukaku to be fair the thing Hazard I- reminds me of a much better version of Shaqiri hmm not as strong, probably, but like, again, he's, not, he's not like Bale or, you yeah. know what I mean? He's not as good as that. Yeah. He's, he's, he's closer to David Silva than he is to Ronaldo, like. Yeah. Yeah. And Sil- Silva's a good player, but he's not going to run you channels all day. Yeah. Like. Same thing we said, we were talking about this the other day, like, when Silva plays left wing for Bon City, it, it gives me heart problems, because it's yeah. like, you're not going to get any cover, and our left backs aren't very good as it is. But no, yeah. Belgium, um, knocked out by Wales, obviously, in the, the quarters. It's a good result for Wales. Yeah, especially saying that Belgium. No need to talk about it. But Belgium won one. We're not in Wales, we. 
We've talked about that, haven't we? Yeah, uh, no point. But Josh. Get Johnny in if you want to talk about Wales. I don't want to talk about him. Well, that's kind of the point of the podcast, isn't it? Yeah. Forget it. Right then, we'll just do that. Belgium got knocked out by an unnamed team. And it was very good for the unnamed team because Belgium went one up and he thought that would be it over. So a very good goal from Angola. Swerved it. Yeah, no goal, yeah. yeah and then, I uh, made the massive mistake of watching Belgium, Sweden instead of Ireland, Italy. Mm, that is a big mistake. But I tuned in to watch Ireland see out and then watch Ireland. Yeah. But that was a mistake. Yeah, I would say that's upsetting. That but, um, a big mistake. Three English men score in the quarterfinals. Williams, Cat Robson, Cat and Vokes. Yeah. England B team did better than England A team. Yeah. Yeah. Italy topped the group. The Italians. Yeah. Um, I'll tip them to win it. This is the kind. This is the kind of thing we we're talking about earlier. Is and Italy are a team who their golden generation's gone. Like they're not the golden generation anymore. Yeah. But their best three players easily are their centre backs. Yeah. And they set them up that their three centre backs were going to be the main part of the team. Yeah. And did you see that bird's eye view of the of the the their defence against against Belgium? I think it was. Like they, there's a video of their stadium from just like directly down, and their whole team moving as one unit with the centre backs, and it was incredible. Like they see how how well the the move. Yeah. They play yeah. together um, at club level. Yeah. Whereas England players, we always just pick random. Yeah. It's, it's weird when you go back to Belgium how like they played Vermeil and left back when all of Vermeil and Vermeil were part of one of the best defences in the Premier League this year and they don't play them together. Tell yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, not for Sorry, everyone. It's all right. It's all right, Matt. You're I've made a balls lot. You balls out, have you? Yeah, it's like whenever I said about the being a legend and a king thing. Yeah, it's a shame. Ibrahimovic. The other good thing about Ibrahimovic is, you know, he's retired from international football now. So... Now, whenever he does go to Hell's Kitchen, like we talked about last time, he'll have more time to work on his, his food. Because you don't have that international break, he can go and cook in the Hell's Kitchen. get where Hell's he's from. from. I, mean, I, just think he, I just don't think he'd do well. No, I don't. No. I don't think he'd do well. He would. I think he'd do quite badly. If one of the players from the Euros had to go in Hell's Kitchen, Josh, who would it be? Deli Ari. No, he's only a student, he wouldn't know what it is. He's a kid, he'd be no, I'd like to see Ronaldo on Hell's Kitchen. Ah, I think it's similar to Abraham. I don't think he cooks his own food. I'd like to see someone shout my name. Uh, John cool. O'Shea. I imagine uh-huh. John O'Shea can make a mean polish stew. Costel Pantelimon. Yeah, I, yeah, Pantelimon. <laughs> yeah, right, odds are going on that. Pantelimon to win Hell's Kitchen in 2017. Yeah. Right, Group F, Josh, as we called it, the Group of Life. But boy, were we wrong. But yeah. you called it. This is your big one, Josh, you said it. Iceland go, went through. Yeah. Right, we'll go to the reverse. Austria finished bottom. Yeah, that was shocking. Austria were tipped as dark horses for this tournament. Yeah, shocking. David Alaba. He did Alaba. All right, Alaba. Alaba. Yeah. He got put in the the most disappointing team of the Euros. Did he? Yeah. He did all right in the first minute of his of his first match, and then after that, mm. didn't do a lot. Blew it. Portugal finished third in their group. Yeah. No. We spoke about them, didn't we? They did alright, didn't they? Yeah. Ronaldo did alright. Even though everyone around me thinks Ronaldo did shite, I thought he was brilliant in mm. the third game. First yeah. game, I thought he actually played quite well, even though he missed a bucket load of chances. Mm. Um, but one of the best players at the time. But the thing is, Josh, we were saying, if you were a striker, right, and you were having eight chances a game, but weren't scoring, yeah, but it, you still wouldn't. That's skill in itself, getting still, eight chances. Yeah, but you still wouldn't. No one would sign you if you never scored and you had eight chances a game. I think he's going to sign Ronaldo. No, no, I'm saying no, like in a generic way. Like, if you had um, Abel Hernandez could make eight chances a game for himself but never scored, you wouldn't sign him. You wouldn't play him. No, but if he, if he did that one game, I think that would sign him. Anyway, let's... But yeah, I, I think making eight chances for yourself... I would best. argue almost bigger than Portugal winning the tournament from third. Iceland, Josh. Oh, I know. Oh... Look, I know you don't want to discuss the pain, like, but you have to just, you have to give them props. Like, they weren't very good. They're so overrated. No, but they set They're themselves up against for... some bad teams. Portugal was struggling, mm. and they got a draw. Yeah, and they they remind me of Stoke oh eight oh nine. Mm. We lost to the and everything like that. The long throws and everything. Yeah, um, I thought they were all right. 
I don't think they're all great. I don't think there's any one. I don't think you should go down in history, right? They scored. They capitalised on some bad defending, and they got beat by a decent France team, and that was it. Forget about them. I still scored against France. Yeah. That's that, the best thing they did. That's going to ruin football for me. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to go, go to Windsor Park and someone's going to do that and I'm going to shout at them. It's a... It's worse than... It's worse than... Who's That was a good you know, impression. Do you know what the worst part of... Little fun. Do you know what the worst part of football is? This, this being this year is... Zaza's run up for his penalty. That was a laugh. That was the worst thing I've seen. That was a laugh. It, oh, stinking. Right, uh Nearly as stinking as that fart. I didn't actually fart. You know? No, it was a good uh, yeah. I thought it was a little one. Hungary, top of the group. And then they were the first team knocked out of said group. <laughs> Silas, your boy. The man who had the greatest defact- deflected free kicks and, or deflected shots in the world. Zizak. Yeah. I did say do I? Yeah. He loves deflected goals, doesn't he? Like fantasy team. Do you see Zoltan, Zoltan Gear's goal in the groups? Yeah. Very weird. <laughs> You can Gamble be- Kirai. <laughs> Gamble Kirai. You can see his arse. <laughs> the sweat on his arse. <laughs> did you see that? Did you <laughs> against see Portugal. <laughs> did you it's see? It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Did you see the wee, the wee trick he did? Yeah. He did the fake kick. But like he took so long to set it up. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, like, he like looked around and they ran out of the stand. Did you see him, right, at Leisure Leagues? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that bit of hungry when it turned into FIFA. Yeah. And, it, and they were just, both of them were just wasting time. And then yeah. he started, yeah. yeah. He really think we did that thing where... sweaty little, he's sweaty little trackies. Do you know he sells his own tracksuits? Like, he, he, has, he has his own he's stuff. He's ridiculous. <laughs> so funny. Just get some shorts, you weirdo. <laughs> I like the sweat in the tenth minute. I'm... I'm Portugal Hungary was the best game of the tournament because of his tracks. <laughs> the sweat pouring off his arsehole. <laughs> I was like, come on, mate. <laughs> yes, I know there's a superstition, but that's not going to help you, is it? Right. If you're overheated in a European Championship game because of your trousers, my mum said, that fella needs counselling. <laughs> he does. All right. Well, Josh, we've ran through all the teams and all the groups. Yeah. Um, tournament's over, so let's yeah. do this. We'll finish it off, Josh. Let's go for our 23 of the tournament. Right. Right? Let's, I'm going to figure this out quickly. Three goalies. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. What? Three That's goalies. Three goalies. Um, Lloris McGovern. All right. Sommer, Lloris McGovern. Okay. So that's three. One dollar is a song, actually, probably. So you need eight... Eight defenders, eight midfielders, and four strikers. I think that's correct. Go strikers first. Hold on, let me check. Eight, eight, six, yeah, okay, four strikers. Um, Ronaldo. Yeah. Bale. Yeah. Griezmann. Yeah. Nani. You could class him as a striker. Nah, I put him in midfield. Okay. Uh, another striker. Uh, I'd I nearly be tempted to go for Gomez. Just because he was such nah, a focal it's point. Totally better. I just can't think of him in a minute. Striker. Um, Harry. Well, this podcast has stopped, doesn't it? Ha- um, Harry Kane. No. Nah. Let's just let's just uh, let's just go through. Murata. Man, Jukic was all right. Murata. Murata, yeah. Yeah, Murata. You saved it, man. You okay. Saved it. You saved that. Okay. That so, was all good. All right. Defenders. Uh, Benucci, Boateng. Chiellini. Yeah. Uh, I'd nearly have all three of the Italians. Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson from Iceland, yep. Yeah. So that's uh, four centre-backs. You need to have some... The bald folder. guy from Poland. Uh, Piszczek. No. Oh, no, no, Glick. No. Glick. No. It was Glick. No, it's not Glick. It's the bald one next to him. I don't know. It wasn't that good. He did all right. Rafael Guerrero from, Por- from Portugal. Joshua Kimmich. Chris Gunner. Yeah, I need one more. Robbie Brady. Nah, Throw him in there. Playing defense. Throw him in there. Well, uh, just, Mick, just, Mickey just, McGoves. Or no, 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 no. We've got one more defender, and I'm going to put in Johnny Evans just to make you happy. No, oh, thanks, Josh. Just to make you happy. No, I'm not. Carl Walker. No, it's too late. Walker. No, you've already said it. Carl Walker. Right, midfielders. Carl Walker. Midfielders. Um, Tony Cruz. Yep. Pyatt, obviously. Yep. 
Uh, I'm going uh, Modric. Modric was very good. Right, yeah. Did alright. Um, mid, mid, midfielders. Um, Jack. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go for him. Krakowia, whatever the Polish bloke. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh, Bale. Gunnarsson. Bale in the Bale was up top. Yeah. Ramsey. Gunnarsson. No. Ramsey has to be in there. Um. Just one more. Is it Wesley Koski? Okay. I like that. We may have missed someone out. So I'm going quickly. It's fine. No one will remember. No, no one's listening to this. Haley's not here to go get a sweets this week, so is there anything else you want to add before we go? Any non European football news? Um, Any local stuff you follow if you want to? Um, Whole sound of anyone? No. I had a Coke and it was from Pete's Hut. Cherry. <laughs> lime. And vanilla? So this is the weed machine. And strawberry. This is the machine and it you can add the to. It. Unreal. So this is the weed machine you can this add. This isn't advertising. Get yourself down to Pizza Hut, get one of them. And if Pizza Hut want to pay me for saying that, which they won't, go ahead. But this it was so good, just put it in there. Okay. Um no other football news then? No. Nope. But that was quality. If you want a drink, make one of those. Just really quick, they actually want to discuss them. Oh yeah, can someone give me a job? Because I'm unemployed. Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Michael McGovern, as you just said, third best goalkeeper in the Euros, possibly second. He's in the team, isn't he? He's in the conversation. Yeah. Turned down a move to Southampton last week. Yeah, that's weird. Didn't want to be second choice. Yeah, he's lost the plot, haven't he? I think he's going to Leeds. Maybe first choice. So, I suppose it's can it make sense? Shame. Maybe he just loves Sturdy Dallas. Maybe he just wants to hang out with him. Shame. Oh, wait. I remember what I'm talking about now. I remember. We didn't mention it in this recording, so I forgot. The finals, Josh. The whole stadium was full of moths. <laughs> right. They left the lights on. No, but they left the lights on, and the stadium was full of moths. Yeah. Like, not like the most, like, strange, but, like, a stupid accident to ever happen in world football. Yeah, that's right. a stupid. Yeah. That's almost as stupid as like the Michael Ball clearing that balloon against Sheffield Wednesday, that <laughs> and then Sheffield or Sheffield United, yeah. sorry, and then I was shouting six in the net. Yeah, ridiculous. Atrocious, though. Um, and as I say, if I get down injured, the thing at least going to happen pretty much. There's a moth loss in your face. Because that, I really not. Because you can't just swipe off. You've got to piss off. You can't do that with a moth. <laughs> you can't do that. Everyone would be like, what are you doing? Leave it alone. It's just a little creature. And I'm already pissed off. Like, get off my face. It's not as bad as that, the giant grasshopper on James Rodriguez in the World Cup. Remember that? Yeah, but he, it's not adding insult to injury. That's the wor- one of the worst moments of his career. And the moth goes... <laughs> Yeah. Right. One last thing, Josh. I'm sorry we're going to do it at the end of every show. As a put, we'll start off with Rose and Thorne, right? Yeah. So, who is your all-time favourite cult hero of football? Is it like a player you really like who was never that good? Like, for me, obviously, it's like the likes Andy of... Andy Dawson. Always there. Mm, it's decent. Um, and every time you got the ball, you stopped it. Always he took a touch. Left. Always took a touch. He looked right. Punted it. Passed it back to Kev Kilbert. <laughs> And then Kev Kilban, Jot. he stopped it, he looked to his left, looked to his right, get it to Dawson. Jot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was going to try and get you to give me a cult hero, right? Yeah. I'm just going to take it from you, because I think Kevin Kilban's the perfect person for this. Right? But he's crap. I yeah. don't like him. You didn't like him? No. Nah. Alright, well give me a player who you really liked outside of Hull who wasn't that good. Hey, Since we're going to do here, is, we're going to name our Hall of Fame after Gary this Gary Jones from Bradford. Nah, not a fan. Not a fan. Has to be, has to be like somebody playing the Premier League, but be like an un, un, unsung hero kind of per player. I'd even let you go for Nugent, like Dave Nugent. No, 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 no. Um, Give me someone who has less than ten caps for England, but more than one. Blame <gasps> um, Oh no! I, 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 I quite like Ricky Lambert because it looked like he won. Um, won a McDonald's competition when he got on. And when he scored for England, everyone, oh, that's nice. What about Jay Watford? 
Yeah. Alright, the Jay Bothering Hall of Fame. So as we're going to do, just right, yeah. once a week, or whatever we do, once the podcast, go in the Hall of Fame. It's not going to be, it doesn't necessarily have to be for a player, but just something about football. So I'm going to do the first entry, you can do one for next week, okay. or next time out. Okay. The first entry into the Jay Bothering Hall of Fame. The paper airplane that hit the chili right back. <laughs> right. Wem- Wembley Stadium. Game's that bad. Players started making paper airplanes. Someone threw one from the very highest point of Wembley and it sailed the way down and hit the chili right back. And the game had been so boring, it was the biggest cheer from that so far. Yeah. <laughs> that paper airplane will go down in history as my... As, that's, oh, it was down in history. So the first member of the J. Bothroyd Hall of Fame. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got anything you want to add in quick? Um... So off the top of your head, if you don't have one, we can save it for no, next week. Alright, well then next week you get us an entry for the okay. Bothered Hall of Fame. Alright, did we have a sign off last time? Did we think of one? No, we just went like this. Stop recording.